Well, another area of the economy that you need to watch very closely are the restaurants. Of course, those stocks falling hard, the coronavirus spreading, the economy looking down. Let's bring in now Bob, Dar Bob Darrington of Telsey Advisory Group. Now, Bob's been getting daily updates on traffic trends. Uh, Bob, it's the most owned small business in the United States. What kinds of traffic trends are you seeing from key parts of the United States right now? Well, you know, I think the most obvious is what we've all heard or many of us have heard about uh, the Seattle market. And the Seattle market is probably ground zero for the most impacted by the coronavirus at this point. You know, traffic trends there are down, you know, about 20 percent, you know, since the, uh, uh, the, the spread of the, uh, the virus has really, you know, gone uh, uh, viral within that community. So I think, you know, there's no doubt that ultimately the spread, you know, is something that we're trying to all, you know, guess, follow, and ultimately try and, you know, figure out how is it going to affect these restaurant companies, uh, the top line, ultimately the bottom line. Do you, so, think, it, you think it'll, I mean, is, is drive-through going to save them, Bob, or are people just going to stop going altogether? You know, I, you know, save is relative. I think certainly the... Uh, uh, those brands, uh, fast food and fast casual, that have more port portable food offerings, uh, they're certainly going to do better. You know, th they have less social interaction. You can go through a drive-through. You can get food delivered. Uh, you know, in that regard, I think most consumers view those uh, if they're concerned about quote social distancing. Certainly, those are better options. So uh, I think. Con Go ahead. Sorry, Bob. So can we talk about Starbucks? Because to me, it's a stock I'm long. Um, it's a stock that I, I think fundamentally uh, the short run we know is, is going to be a disaster. But, but if anything, U.S. same-store sales comps have been very strong. Um, you know, their China business has been an important part of their growth. The valuation was a big challenge. But this stock's gone from almost 100 bucks down to $62, $63. And, and the valuation is very different. Could you talk about that name in the context yeah. of Corona? Yeah, uh, I don't want to rain on your parade, but, you know, there's two things <laughs> we that go. we really need. <laughs> the parade has been canceled, Bob, so. <laughs> One is, obviously, the coronavirus and the impact there. Two, ultimately, is what happens with consumer spending and the economy post this. You know, do ultimately consumers, you know, because their own businesses or their jobs mm -hmm. or layoffs, you know, there's been some issues affecting their spending, uh, you know, will, will we see a slowdown? If so... How slow will it be? Will it be as bad as back in 2007, 8, 9? Or will it bounce back immediately to the levels that we saw in January? Yeah, that's um, fair. You know, I think the likelihood is that we're going to see something in between. So that will work against All the right, Bob Darrington, of tell us, Bob, we got we to leave it there. Bob, we appreciate you calling in. Uh, certainly not only the stocks, but about uh, 15 million restaurant workers around the country are, are probably a little bit concerned right now. We're thinking about them as well. It's not just about publicly traded companies. Bob, thank you very much.